welcome to another Caffeinated Entertainment video. It's Art here with a special review of MLB 18 The Show. This is my favorite uh, video game. It's special because I'm going to be trying a new form of um, reviews for video games. This should allow me to show you gameplay. First of all, let me show you the main screen. This is your kind of home page. It's kind of got the news that Sony San Diego Studios wants you to see about the game. And then the, uh, your main play uh, page. First thing that I like about this year's version is that your favorite team is now the background. As I'm a St. Louis Cardinal fan, it shows me Bush Stadium in the background and various players as we move along. Right now it's Tommy Pham. Later on it might be Carlos Martinez, Yadier Molina, Adam Wainwright, so on and so forth. It would be the same for any one of your teams, but let's get into the gameplay video. First of all, play now is just exhibition. It shows you how to play, and then there's Diamond Dynasty, which is their online mode. So let's dive into that, shall we? Okay, here's your online main screen. Battle Royale is their fantasy draft type baseball game. Ranked Seasons is their ranked online play where you can win a various number of rewards. Um, if you if you make it out of a spring training, you get um, or you make it into spring training, you get 1,000 experience, 100 stubs, which is their in-game currency, and 25 tickets, which is which is another form of in-game currency going all the way up into rank seasons. Now, my favorite specialized events are. Um, Events like this event here is for Lenny Dykstra. You'll get the card if you complete the event. Um, playing with friends is just a casual type mode. So it's casual st standings is for rank season standings. I don't know if it's actually... Let, let, let's go in here and look. It shows you the ranked seasons. Uh, you can see where I rank all the way down at the bottom because I haven't played this mode very, very much. Is there single player Diamond Dynasty? Let's go into one of their new features um, in Diamond Dynasty that I love to death. That is the... Uh, Programs mode. First of all, your immortals. You've got Ruth, R Babe Ruth, Jackie Robinson, Mike Piazza, Albert Pools as a cardinal when he was a true immortal. He lost his way in um, in Anaheim. King Griffey Jr., a true master center fielder. Uh, Bob Gibson, the all-time greatest cardinal pitcher ever and plus the only pitcher that actually changed the game they rose the mound the year after he had a 1.19 ERA to win a, hit, uh, the Cy Young that year I believe that was 1967 Cal Ripken Jr. the Iron Man of Baseball you can't say anything bad about him Chipper Jones the uh, Star Wars Brave uh, Tom Seaver a Star Wars Met Nolan Ryan the Ryan Express, uh, a pitcher who started before I was born and didn't end until well after I fell in love with baseball. I got to see this man pitch live once. So that was amazing. Billy Wagner, the famous uh, Houston Astro closer, and Goose Gossage is the last immortal. And then you've got your career orcs, arcs. Now you'll see that the immortals uh, take... All of this, you have to unlock all of this. I won't go through each one, but you have to unlock all of this to all these players to unlock the Immortals. Uh, they wanted this to take a long time, and I think it will. Now, with that said, let's jump into some gameplay. I'll show you Conquest Mode first. Conquest Mode is a bit like... Uh, 
Well, it's not a bit like. It is the baseball or the MLB uh, 18 The Show version of Risk. I'll play a short, quick game for you all. So that you can see how gameplay is. Um, I'll play on veterans, so I stand a chance of actually winning with this shabby squad. You're not playing with your franchise. You're playing with... Um, I've got the sound down on my TV so that hopefully this video isn't recording the sound and I don't get... Uh, I'm trying to avoid YouTube strikes or anything because this video is purely a review. It is purely a review. So my lineup is already preset. So we'll see who we have. And it always randomly generates a pitcher. David Price versus John Gray. It should be a good matchup. It doesn't usually take this long for it to load in. I don't know what's going on. Let's... There we go. Now from Coors Field in Denver, MLB Network is... So here's Matt Kemp now. He will lead this one off today. So this is the... I mean, I use zone hitting. And I use um, meter pitching, as you'll see. Right, and he's aboard with a single. Now with the plate, George Brett. Not exactly. Larry Baseman, George Brett. Throw over to first, and the runner back. Diamond Dynasty Conquest games or sh are short one-inning games. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there, now the throw. Stole that base to get my runner in scoring base. position and also a complete, hopefully, start to complete oh, a um, card thing. Scamper back because that ball is way too uh, shallow, so we'll scamper back on that side. I like Diamond Dynasty mode because it's A, a baseball card collecting mode, and it's B, a, uh, a mode where you can play kind of fantasy baseball, and you don't have to be stuck playing with your favorite team. Sometimes it is nice to play with different players who are good around the league, and you can also... And this will land uh, well. earn a little on third with two outs. You can also play a little fantasy baseball and have a digital baseball card collection too, which is nice. And this is low. Apparently he swung that you saw from Yes, away. we see that he swung either that or you're just really happy. Um, the game looks beautiful as it does every year. I've seen gripes online about the game is not as good. People don't realize that sports games have a nine-month development cycle because you've got a month before the game goes live, it has to go gold, which means it has to be in its final printing st printed stage. And there's a month of testing before that, and then they have the month of plan meetings, which they'll be in starting in May are starting at the end of April for next year's version. So they only have nine months to build a um, great game like this. So with that said, you're not going to see all that many improvements. Here's Nolan Arenado. No one aboard for him. Nolan. And two gone here in the first. In there, 0 and 1. And the meter pitching, as you can see, it allows for more control. You press it once. If any of you have played like Tiger Woods Golf, 
or Madden for field goal kicking. Well, um, it's the same concept, the basically. Stepping in, Bill it's you push a button once to build up your power, second. you stop it on the line for the accuracy. The basically, line. that's what it is. That Wind up and the 0-1. Now a swing and a fly ball. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Franchise mode is Late just select your team and be a GM right. in the majors. That's all that is. So I won't bother. Well, I'll probably show you the new interface. Because um, the new interface is new. But I'll go into road to the show. Um... Road to the show is their career mode. It's the mode that I play probably the least, but for me, the least played of a mode in this game is still well over any any in any in any other mode. If I can talk today, any in any other mode that you would see. Just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. So nothing in one count. Here it comes. Lying to the right side. In there, the base hit. Trying to go first to third here, and he does. Wow. Great. Uh, the game does have uh, better baseball physics and better uh, baseball analysis. You can throw cancel in this game now. Which allows you to react better. Uh, catchers get to balls a lot faster and a lot better. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. And they pitch out because they thought I might be running, but yet I'm not running. The 1 1 pitch. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. The 1 2. And this one goes right by Ionetta through to the backstop. The tag, and they cut down the potential go ahead run at the plate. He got me there on a poor decision, but that's to. Um, like I said, catchers take better routes to balls, and that was an example. It's funny how that example showed up the minute that I um. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Ionetta has it, and that ends the end. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Lifted the other way to the left and, center. And conquest Lifted mode center games in. and battle royal battle royale mode and games with quick with three inning games and the pitcher's stamina now is Colorado. built to uh, reflect that. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. First pitch of the at bat. Not surprisingly, here this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll turn. Nice play. Um, and you can see the beautiful graphics and the see, and the game is even. Prompting me that my pitcher is now up. I may want to pin. In fact, I do. In your system, there. If you press up on the controller, you don't have to press start. When your managerial D-pad, it pulls you into your managerial um, listing. That one is it's fouled off to the left side, and he'll start out there half of the it goes more than three out back out of here so we can see more. It's sharply on the ground to the left. 
because I want to make sure that in this video you guys see as much as possible. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Matt Kemp. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he just misses with a curveball. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Fly ball out to straightaway center. After it is Blackman. He's there and reports the first down. And the throw in gets away from him. Digging in to try it again. George Brett is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Blackman will put this one away, and that's out number two. Now this is cut and thrown to first. On to first, the double play. Your attention, please. So the call's gone out for the right-hander, Mark Melanson, as he'll take over on the mound. Chopped quickly to the left. Two is left. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. But you these games are trot are meant to be like quick pace. First pitch coming, here it is. Just a tick behind for a strike. Bite-sized nibbles, as I would say. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Hit hard to third. Brett has it. On to first, and there are two down. Gerardo Parra will get the call. But you can see the game is real. And like I said, sorry that you guys don't get audio, but I don't want it uh, being committed to a content strike. Excuse me. And, of course, we'll see my beautiful face returning uh, for the next review. Only the game reviews won't have my face because I can't. I haven't figured out how to put my face in them, but at least if the voiceover worked, you guys will at least get a review of the game. And another foul ball. When you have two strikes on you as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you can and we'll have to leave it there. Now pitching for the Rockies. Digging in for his second at bat, Eric Karos. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ground ball right side. And he'll throw him out from short right field. Nicely done for the first out. So the bases are empty with one. If I had to score the game, I'd give it. Uh, well, I'll explain what I'll give it a, a little bit later. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Hey, he caught him off guard right there. I like that pitch. High fastball executed. I know he's known for the sinker ball, but if he can get some eye levels up and down. So let me be fair and exit out of here. And this is the menu, the pause menu. I let you exit. Says everything. Now we'll go into the load screen. Don't know if the load screen will play, but hey, what the hey? Uh, what can I say? Now I'll back out of here so we can see more of. All right, I'll take you into the franchise mode first. This is your home page, and here you can see it's got the calendar here. It's got your to-do list, which is everything important. Your advanced advance a day and then it's got play next game when you do that 
Welcome to Inside the Show. And then you've got scouting. Let's check out some of the results from yesterday. Reviewing your sponsorship, looking at your budget, setting your trade block, trade talk, and sim to draft day. The bottom one here is always a sim to the next franchise event. Now over here you got your manage page. This is your managing your 40-man roster. This is your the morale of your team. This is your training uh, section to help your team train. This is your GM goals, the goals you must complete. I'm in your one of three of my contract. These are the team performance goals on the right, and the GM goal is there on the left. The con. Uh, the, the yearly goal is to win the division for the Cardinals, the and the contract goal is to win the league pennant. That would change for every team. In here, you can set your lineup, your pitching rotation, you can set your uh, budget, and set your sponsors. Over here, you can sign free agents, look at transactions, detail contracts, for the coaches Texas and Rangers scouting. Well, allowing only three hits as they defeated the A's in Oakland three to one. The win was their sixth straight as a team. The Baltimore Orioles got a win over the Astros in Houston four to three. And you can um, we'll pull off a trade. And all season long. You can view standings over here. League leaders, stats, disabled list, top prospects, and awards weekly and yearly awards go there and back here is your options tab where you can save your data it, road to the show mode which I will not show here because it'll be different for everybody is there um, my career mode in like a, if you play 2K? It's your you take the player through the minors and you take them all the way through the mi through Bowman scouting day to getting drafted to, to the minors to making it up to the show and signing your first big league contract. So, and just to show you an example. Earlier it was Tommy Pham in the video, and now it's Yadier Molina. So just to show you uh, what I was saying about that earlier. So, and over here they've got the mini modes, the challenge of the week, the postseason, the options explorer, the custom practice, that's all new as you can see. The retro mode is back from last year, and of course home run derby. Here's your card collection, your vaults, which are important, your leaderboards, your game history, and all community market is where you sell your duplicates of cards and stuff, so that's important. So, without further ado, I'm going to put video games on a 10 um, rating scale, so like 1 is bad, 10 is good. I would mark the show as a 9.5 Hall of Fame edition. Uh, it's a whole, it's the only game in the history of this blog slash channel Captain Entertainment that is in the Hall of Fame, which means one thing, it is never up for my, my yearly Game of the Year awards because it's already in the Hall of Fame. It doesn't need to be up for any yearly awards. It shouldn't be up for any yearly awards, and therefore, it's not. Oh, and there is the, there is an example of the quick menu that shows up. So just to let you know, if you press the touchpad on the PS4 controller, and I believe the show is... I know some of you have had asked for, for more game reviews. If this review works... Let me know if you want to see more. I'd be more than happy to do more videos like this. I'd be extremely happy to do more videos like this. If you'd like to see tips and tricks videos for the show, I'd be happy to do that as well. 
Without further ado, you all know that I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, or 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know if you play the show or any other games that you would like to see. I'm considering doing a Nino Kuni 2 version of this if this one does well. But without further ado, it's Art signing off here. Happy reading, or happy gaming in this sense. I wasn't with the usual quote. Happy gaming in this sense. Play ball, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.